So, JT. Hello. I've sent you an email. Ooh, what's that? It's, which it's I, high tech. Yeah, it was very high tech. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? But uh, it needs explanation. I use snail mail. Yes, you're quite right, Chris. <laughs> snail mail is very good. Snowman? You've got a record of it then, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, no, you're not. Sorry, you're number four. Is that number four? Yeah, you're number four, Chris. I've been. Uh, I thought you were a bit. Say something again. Um, I. A little bit. No, no. Stick with stick with four. Four's all right. That hello, one. hello. Yeah, well. that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Glad it's all working. Yes. And you were saying you like snail mail. Yeah, I do. Oh, well. You know where you no, are, don't emails, you? Emails, you emails are easier. They don't require stamps and writing <laughs> addresses. Are. No, you've got to get the address correct. Yeah, I'm not so good at that. No. Well, anyway, um, JT, look. Basically, don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. Isn't I, it? No, I don't oh, think great. so. So, so it's not a real worry. But I think it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. The the Today program, which is a Radio Four breakfast that today show. Or yesterday. Hmm? Was that today or yesterday? Well, it's everywhere now. It's on. It's <laughs> oh. on. It's on repeat as oh, well. Okay, right. <laughs> and sorry, I have to interrupt. Yes. At this point to wish JD a happy Boxing Day. Yeah, well, I've been boxing up a lot of things. I have. <laughs> oh. Oh, Chris, JD said it was Christmas <laughs> yesterday. Well, perhaps it was. It is Christmas. I've been it might have been this year. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what it is is in August, all the MPs and think tank people are not in London. Don't they? So it's like Christmas in Radio Four Land <laughs> on the New Year. So they have to pre-record lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, OK. And then only the volunteers are there. So, and in fact, even the guest editors are on holiday as well. Are right. they? So they're inviting the public to put forward some ideas. What is a public holiday? Well, it's a, August is a public holiday. What is it, a public holiday? What is a public holiday? <laughs> um, well, the banks are shut. That's what makes the crucial difference. So it's if, a bank holiday. It's not yes. A, it's not a public so holiday. the banks, the banks <laughs> don't need rescuing on those days. So nothing needs to happen. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, it made sense to me because this bet thing is getting very much closer. Right. And we're going to have to decide what we're doing. We're going to have to come up with some sort of rough guide to what we're doing. Right. And. I get confused by all the other things which are going to happen later, for example, at Learning Technologies. So thinking about August makes sense to me because everything will be clearer by then or in the past. Right, right, OK. Well, that's a long way off. Yes. We've got to get through summer first. Yes, but we can revise our ideas for August. August is in summer. Well, yeah, but Chris, the, the sunshine can be in June or July very often. Yeah. Some of August might be getting cold again by then. Yeah. But the the exact... If, if we make sense of learning technologies, that's to say adult learning and lifelong credentials and things like that in May, maybe there's a lot of things about that we should have known next week so we can go to bet with full information but it's not next week no it's but the week after yes but we but by next week we should be working out what we what are talking because our, our long-suffering producer he what is we're leaving him behind yeah to do the wild show at the end of the month but he needs a bit of briefing because we're going to phone in with these random phone calls saying we found a guest who's prepared to talk about something or another. Are we? <laughs> well, we might do. Actually, OK, look, ju just for new listeners, um, a couple of years back, we worked out that uh, special educational needs was a priority and that the, um, 
the, the stem village was a priority because it would become a steam village with extra arts. Was that, um, was that the one when I got photographed with the Dalek? You were, Chris, yes. The BBC, they were the ones who were putting all the arts into the stem village. Yeah. And they arrived with a Dalek to make their point. And Ma Will took a photo of it with me. Yes. So that was that was pretty good. I think we were doing our best then. Yeah. But what we what we discovered the next year, having told JD the producer we would phone in once from the special educational needs area and then from the Steam Village. I think we phoned in three times. That's our plan is to phone in three times. Yeah. Um, and one of the phone calls will try and make with Russell to be that's on air. The, yeah, that's the crucial one. Yeah. I think we can say, if we make the third one at the net support radio stand with Russell Prue, yeah. we don't have to worry. Because at that point, he will talk directly to our producer and they will sort things out. So even though all our plans may have failed, our muddle-headedness will have become obvious. Yeah. We will have lost all sense of direction. It will still be fine. And now I've found out that we can do phone calls through my phone and their desk, hopefully, hopefully Russell. Well, now that's the accessible aerials desk that is yeah, set up for Bluetooth. But the Russell will be as well. You would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, we'll have to check this if he's if he can cope with Bluetooth. But anyway, what we found on that occasion was that there's, the local authorities don't have any money, so they're not spending anything on special educational needs. So the space for that was reduced. Which is a shame. It's a very large shame. But we'll, we'll, we will have a look. We'll have a look for that. And then also, for some reason, arts didn't survive in a STEM environment. They just concentrated on the STEM. So that phone call didn't work either. And then we found another talk that was very interesting. So, um, JT, the thing is that we d so we don't really know how our bet special show is going to go. Well, you send Chris off, yep. right, with a big flag. Yep. And say, do you want to speak to us? Yes. <laughs> we're from Devon, and we're right on the limb, and yep. we need to talk to somebody. Right. Would you talk to us? Yes. So we have a big banner, maybe on his back of his chair or on top of his head or something like that. <laughs> right. And uh, <laughs> with a flashing light, so yes. people know he's not a Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're very... If the BBC are going to send the Daleks in, yeah. we'd like to know about in advance, please. Yeah. Perhaps you have to book something with somebody. I, I expect the Daleks have a diary. <laughs> <laughs> I should think... The Dalek, the Daleks have a dot. Yeah, OK. So we'll, we'll send our, our request. Yeah. Well, we'd like to meet the Dalek between um, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock yeah, on, on the Thursday. That being a bit too precise. Well, that's when our shows is live, well, Chris. Going, <laughs> though... Um, Uh, OK. <laughs> we can put a request in, can't we? Yeah. And then um, after that and after the Learning Technology Show, at some point in the future, we will send another proposal to the Today programme. Mm -hmm. They want two minutes, Jody. I think this is what? where your special skills will come in. Two minutes? Two minutes. Oh, gosh, I have, to, I have to squat up on that one. Well, <laughs> so... They want two minutes of talking. Well, I mean, they want two minutes proposal. I so so two, I'm, I'm very good at two minutes silence. So, yes. <laughs> so, Will, what are you proposing? Well, I think their show should ask just one question. Yeah, and um, what should that question be? 
Well, bear in mind that there will be two businessy programming bits. Soon after six o'clock, uh, talk about empty offices, empty office space because everything's moved online. Yeah. And then soon after seven o'clock, talk about empty department stores because everything's moved online. And then find people from universities and ask them why they're spending so much money on buildings and student accommodation and what they're doing about online. That's, that's it, basically. That's... Yeah. Can that we get that into sure. two minutes? Well, we might have to work a bit because we got to work out what we wanted to say about two minutes. Shall we have some Joss Stone, Will? We could have some Joss Stone, Chris. Yes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> I think you've got a very good idea there. Um, this is from a CD called Colour Me Free. <laughs> <laughs> 